Hey dudes and dudettes, what's up? Big Jake here and welcome back. Today I'm going to be reviewing a Vita and Switch game for you. It's called Croilier Sigma, Croiler Sigma. I'm not 100% sure it's that game. It's pretty underrated in my opinion. It's a good combo of a JRPG hack and slash with some arcade mechanics thrown in there for good measure. It's really fast paced ton of fun. So let's take a look at it. All right, let's get going guys. So I've been playing this for a few hours on my PS Vita now. Decided to bring it on over to the good old PS TV and start a fresh save from the beginning to show you a little bit of the gameplay here. And the best way I can think of to describe it is it's kind of like the crazy taxi of hack and slash RPGs. It's just really fast paced, have those arcade mechanics going with the coin collection and trying to, to beat your times. It's just a lot of fun. I will say there is a bit of a learning curve to it and to top that off, there are quite a few things that I find aren't super well explained in the game. So you might be finding yourself searching online to, to learn the mechanics a little bit. Once you get the hang of it though, it all seems fair. Nothing seems too cheap about it. Um, that doesn't mean it's not frustrating. There are definitely really frustrating moments in this game. A lot of the leaderboards you're trying to top are time-based. So when you miss something by just a second or two, man, that can be frustrating. At the same time, it's really rewarding once you finally get that time that you've been working for. And um, it's something that I've always felt like I've been able to progress and get better at as I'm playing it. it feels really weird to play it with a controller now, not doing the best. But on the Vita, I feel like I keep getting better on it. I keep improving, which is pretty cool. I definitely find the game challenging, challenging in a different way than most of the RPGs I usually play. You know, those are more strategy oriented, you gotta really think out your next move, what you're gonna do. This game's the opposite of that, it's like pure reaction, it's all super fast paced, it's all just going as fast as you can, trying to get through levels, collect things, and not get hit. It's really you get hit a couple times, you're pretty much done. I'll shut up and just play a little bit here for you. Let's you watch. All right, we'll do we'll do one more floor here for you. All right, I know that that was really short, but uh, that's the game in a nutshell there. It doesn't take very long to get through any of the campaigns, really. It is a short game, and it's something that you can pick up in short bursts, or you can play for a longer period of time, and it's fun either way. If you're looking to unlock all the modes and, and beat the whole game, or maybe go after all the trophies, it might come really natural to some people, but I think for others, there is a bit of a learning curve, and this game might take a while to get the hang of, and it might take even longer to master. But if it's something you're willing to put the time into, I found it's a lot of fun. I'd say that if you like hack and slash RPGs, and you're looking for something a little bit different, this is a good game to try out, and it's actually pretty inexpensive compared to other games. So I'd say it's worth picking it up and, and just seeing if you like it. I hope this video was helpful, and if you have any questions, just leave them down below in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and until next time my dudes, stay classy.